Born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, now training out of Denver, Colorado under the great Trevor Whitman. Here is the strawweight champion, the Lithuanian American, Thug Rose Nama Yunus. Joe, she's popular for a lot of different reasons, but most of it has to do with this well-rounded skill set. She can finish you on the feet, opportunistic with her submission game. Just an outstanding grappler striker. She looks the part of the best 115-pound fighter on the planet. This girl has ridiculous hand speed. It is one of her best assets and one of the most terrifying things. She can hit you before you can hit her. And she can also get out of the way before you can hit her. It's a terrifying thing fighting someone who has the kind of hand speed that she possesses. Well, if you've seen this young woman hit a speed bag, shades of Floyd Mayweather, the hand speed is absolutely insane. And I think for a lot of women who fight her, they feel like as long as they're precise with their timing and they're efficient and accurate, they can avoid the hands. But more often than not, you just can. And even though she doesn't necessarily have the biggest knockout power in the division, the hand speed, downright scary. This girl has ridiculously impressive, lightning fast hand speed. It is one of her best qualities and one of the most terrifying things that you could face inside the octagon. When someone is faster than you, it is such a huge advantage. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. Well, at least on paper, what an even matchup. Everything between these two fighters is nearly identical. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record on. Nine wins, three losses. She stands five feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Fog Rose Narayuna! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding professional record on. Four wins, six losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Eva Beach, Hawaii, Kylan Cora! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? You ready? Well, it's a building that has hosted so many classic fights. We are underway at Madison Square Garden, right here in the heart of New York City. Oh, she gets tagged. Nice combination. Good punch. Oh! Wow. This could be it right here. Very nice. Immediately shoots for the leg. And she gets a single leg takedown. Good right hand. Tries to pass here, but gets shut down. Nice sweep. Beautiful sweep. Trying to spin to the back. Big shot from the bottom. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, you don't want to spend too much time fighting off of your back, Joe, but pretty good work here from the bottom by Curry. She's moved into side control. She's in half guard now. Big punch from the bottom. Curran gets up and decides to take this fight back to the feet despite having a dominant position on the ground. Well, I'll certainly laud her toughness, Joe, but that's not a good look as she absorbs that strike to the body. She almost leaned into that one, so let's see if she can make some adjustments here, move the elbow down, lower the guard to prevent more body work from her opponent. Nice punch from the clinch by Rose Nama Yunus. Good knee. Oh, hook to the head by Kylan Curran. Tying up in the clinch here. 
That knee might have landed there. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Excellent movement here on the ground. Well, she's able to get up again here, Joe, but look at her. She is visibly injured. Kick to the body by Kylan Kirk. Oh, huge block for her, Joe. She's got a cut above the eye. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Wow. Things just got real interesting. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen. You're doing absolutely awesome. I want you to punt. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Brittany Palmer in the building as usual. All right, let's get to round two. How about that chin? Block the punch. Oh, pretty good counter jab to the head by Rose Namajunas. Well placed kick there by Kylan Kirk. Oh, good left hand. Oh, the jab followed by the right hand. That's a big hook. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. Oh, well, she moved right into that straight punch, Joe. And she's going to have to figure some things out defensively here if she wants to remain in this fight. Move that head off the center line, get those feet moving, get on the tip of your toes, and prevent any further damage. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, beautiful jab there by Rose Namajunas. Very good exchanges here. Nice right hand to the body. Nama Yunus gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Big knee the lands knee. there. Oh, man. That'll make you forget your childhood. Hard uppercut! Wow, big overhand right miss. Beautiful jab, beautiful jab. Sharp timing. Good oh. shot to the head, she's stunned, she's hurt. This could be it right here. She's starting to put together some significant body work here and these are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. In on a single here. Changes her stance. Oh! That one hurt. Oh, she got her head off the center line oh, there, Joe. Look the punch shot. shot. Unbelievable. Back to the feet. Big straight punch. Looking for the left turn. Oh! Yunus gets hit with a kick. That looked like it hurt you. Oh, a beautiful hook by Kylan Kirk. Ten minutes in the books. And there is the horn. Got to feel good going back to the stool after that round. Great round from Nama Yunus. There was a huge moment in that round and a huge moment in this fight. Big power on this punch and results in a knockdown. Let's go to a different angle.
Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Ariane Celeste on hand as usual. There by Rose oh. Oh. This could be it right here. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Look at this, takedown! Well, Nami Yunus's cut is only getting worse here, Joe. Man, is that thing bleeding. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Kylan Curran. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here, you like to see that, Joe. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Curran. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Kylan Curran. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. Nice shot to the head. Moves to half guard. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Well, she's up to her feet here, but she is hurting, Joe. Ah, she's unable to connect with the left hook. So clock starting to become a factor here. Oh! Oh! Hard jab. They're going at it now. Oh, very nice. Well, overall, her striking has been sharp tonight. She has landed some good shots, but more often than not, Joe, she's been one and done. As yet, unable to string together significant combinations, and it's gonna take a good combination to really put her opponent in harm's way. Let's see how she chooses to attack you. Pummels out of double underhooks here. Well, Nami Yunus's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Transitions to the tie clinch. That knee might have landed there. All right, so this fight goes the distance, not for any lack of effort on her part. She was offensively dominant, knocked her opponent down at one point in this fight, and perhaps that was enough to get a 10-8 round. At the very least, though, she was the better fighter here tonight, and you gotta think the judges saw it the same way we did. Round three, top position secured. Ground and pound blows begin to drop. Official decision now in. The buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Fog Rose Marayuna! Well, they will enjoy this one in the 303 and beyond. Big ups to Rose Namajunas. There with her chief corner, Trevor Whitman. That is a potent one-two combination, folks. And they've really taken Nama Yunus' game to the next level of late. This just might have been her best performance to date, and many still believe the best is yet.